Welcome to the Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. We're going to tie a most awesome steelhead fly on an Aqua Fly Ultra Rig. And it's going to look sort of like this, or better, depending on how it comes out. Okay, I've got my um, Aqua Fly. This is a uh, return eye shank. I've got it in my vise. And there's a lot of ways to hold in these things. If you've got a regal, you just kind of clamp it in there. Uh, you might need a uh, one of those OPST shank chucks. Uh, there's uh, there's all kinds of ways to do this. Um, this is Power Pro. Um, so I'm using 210 denier flat waxed mono and I've got a little bit of super glue here and I'm not gonna run this up and back through the eye because it is absolutely not necessary goodness gracious you know we're only using 12 pound test tippet you know you only need to do is be able to pick up a 12 pound sinker with this I guarantee you can. Um, but I do like my super glue here. Make sure it's not going anywhere. So you're going to be absolutely shocked and amazed when you see the colors that I use in this fly. absolutely unique to the steelhead world maybe not I've got a disaster about to happen on my desk here so uh, this is not going to be a two-stage intruder this is going to be kind of a knockoff on a fish taco on a Hickman fish taco and today it, it's it's a Friday and it's raining and the rivers haven't come up yet this is a Senyo's eat a peach dubbing in a loop just this plain loop not a composite loop and I'll bet you Jeff's out there guiding today and uh, we'll think of him reverently while we tie a fly like his He's probably fishing with something just like this today. Okay, now uh, for my body on this fly, I'm I'm gonna want a. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit traditional. I'm gonna have a black body, and this is Senyo's. You know, there's Greg is just a marketing genius. He has got some really good stuff out under his name. I used to blend all my own steelhead dubbing because I just didn't care. I'm and by the way, I'm just not I'm not getting it together on this. So I'm gonna start over. I used to blend all my own dubbing for steelhead flies. Still not getting it. You know, sometimes it goes like that. You just you you just have to keep going back to the drawing board. Anyway, I don't need to blend my own dubbing anymore because Greg is the first person to come out and commercially offer the first person. Somebody else no, I, I shouldn't say it. Somebody else might have done it. I just didn't know about it. I like Greg's colors. And this is a black. It might be midnight or I'm sure he's got some fancy. He doesn't just call it black. It's like the, the butt material. It's not just, you know, fancy steelhead orange. It's Eat a Peach. What a great name, Eat a Peach. So I want this a uh, little bit fuzzy. I could have used chenille. 
but I like the fuzzy look. And I'm using this white 210D. I'm going to shift over for, over to a lighter color at the very end, but not yet. So right now, here's this shocking color combination. It's going to be an orange, orange and purple and black. Wow. Who ever heard of such thing? I went on the internet yesterday and I was searching winter steelhead fly images. I'm going to tie this in by the tip. This is a flow orange. Actually, it might be a sunrise orange. Looking at winter steelhead fly images on the internet and I saw flies that I've been tying and other friends for the last 10 years and guess what I'm seeing orange and purple red and black blue and black purple a few olives in there a few oranges how many times you know how many color combinations can you come up with that really look good they all catch fish but this color combination what I really want you to see is how this ultra rig works uh, you can imagine tying this fly uh, you can imagine tying this fly with any other combination of colors you choose you could go all black you could have a chartreuse bud it's all good. I need a piece of marabou here. So this is going to be a fairly, uh, this fly is going to, uh, under tension, under tension of the current it's gonna I haven't gone to great efforts to prop this piece of marabou uh, it, this is gonna slim right down under tension and that's just fine now if I was overly concerned about pushing more water with this fly then I would uh, I might have a big dubbing ball in there I might have a composite loop of Arctic Fox or Craffer might have some extra flash in there but I'm not uh, not particularly concerned about that with this fly <clears throat> I'm going to be just happy as can be to have this fly profile slim right down in the current. It's going to look just like this. I'm going to put a little bit of flash in there. Got some lateral scale here. I'm going to grab sometimes I'm kind of inconsistent about how much flash I use but I'm gonna two strands not three three's too many what two strands and double it back and they're right on top I'm happy with them being right on top and they're going to be a little bit longer than the hook. And now I'm going to find myself a... I'm going to find myself a black schlappen feather. If I'm lucky. I've got a black. There we go. Got a black 
slap and feather. I'm looking for some thread. And I'm looking for some intruder eyes. And I'm going to put them under, on the underside of the shank. I apologize, you can't see what I'm just kind of coaxing these into place with my index finger. If the camera was right up here, you could see it, but the camera is over there. But that's okay. And we're going to go with just a little, little bit of super glue on the thread, about an inch and a half of the thread coated with super glue. got a couple of hackle fibers that are misbehaving. And now I'm going to get just a tiny bit of this uh, Senyo's Midnight dubbing to cover up my thread wraps there I like that now th these these little raptor fibers are they're beautiful they're wispy the color is awesome it, it's a wonderful color highlight these are not the world's most durable fibers and that's okay, because we know that. Uh, they are there to please our sense of creativity and provide that little hint of color. Um, but don't be heartbroken if you catch 10 steelhead and they come off or get chewed up. Okay, uh, because I would like a nice glossy finish on this head, I'm going to use this, uh, this UV cure. This, is, this flow is real thin. I think some other folks make, uh, make some thin UV cure. What's important is you find one that you like. I know this one works. The Sol Res is really good too. Wow.